Hey there, welcome back to Coding Stuff and this is 8th part of our Instagram blog app and in this video we will retrieve all the posts and if you like the tutorials you can subscribe to the channel that will encourage me to make more tutorials like this and if you want to connect with me on Instagram you can follow me link will be in the description box okay so in our main activity uh, what we'll do first we'll set adapter to our recycler view so m recycler view dot set adapter and of course we need to create one adapter here so private and post adapter adapter and will require one list so private list post and let's name it as a list and over here we'll write adapter equals to new post adapter and here we have to pass context first so main activity dot this and our list so before we initialize our list equals to new array list and I will put same column over here and inside this we will pass this adapter ok so just after the set on click listener of fab button will have one check that is if the current user is not equals to null so firebase auth dot get current user should not equals to null then we'll retrieve all the post uh, if the user is not logged in will not retrieve the post in our main activity so before starting further uh, I'll require two variables so first will be query so query I'll name it as a query and also I will require private listener registration this one I will explain you this later and uh, let me name it as listener registration so inside this we'll write query equals to firestore dot collection and this will be posts so as you can see in the add post activity uh, we store all these values in our collection posts so now we'll apply order by here and the field will be time and then query dot direction dot descending so the new post will be displayed at the top it will be in the descending order all the post and then we'll use listener registration equals to query dot add on snapshot listener and we'll pass here context so main activity dot this and new event value event listener query snapshot and I will put semicolon over here so this snapshot listener will give us all the data inside that post like all the fields uh, that we have user time caption and all that stuff will retrieve by this so you all know what is query uh, but we need to talk about listener registration why we are using it here so this is listener registration I uh, will see in the firebase docs so as you can see here uh, it is an interface and it represents the listener that can be removed by calling and it removes the listener being tracked by this listener registration after the initial call subsequent calls have no effect so this listener registration will stop this query will remove this uh, over here when we will retrieve all the data and uh, this will stop the query from running okay so it will just retrieve the data and it will be stopped so here we will just use for loop and this will be document change and let name it as a doc this will be till the value dot get document changes and inside this will have another if condition and inside this will check doc dot get type and this is equals to document change dot type added and we'll create one post let me write it as a post doc dot get document and dot to object and here we have to pass our post class so post dot class 
and I will put same column over here. Then we'll add this data to our list. So list dot add and we'll pass this post. And we can just notify our adapter that data set change. So notify data set change and I will put semicolon over here. So if the the doc dot get type is not equals to document change dot type add will add else condition and inside this again we'll just notify or adapter that data set change and after this for loop will remove our listener registration listener registration dot remove so this will prevent this query from running continuously it will just get all the snapshot we'll save it in our post dot class and we'll add that to our list and then we'll remove that listener registration okay so again what we can do if the user has reached bottom means uh, if uh, if he has seen all the post then we can have we can display one toast as reached bottom so for that in in this if condition we'll write m recycler view dot add on scroll listener and here we'll write new recycler view dot on scrolled listener and we need to overwrite only this method on scrolled and here we'll just use one boolean variable so is bottom i will name it and this will equals to not equals to m recycler view dot can scroll vertically and here we have to specify the direction so vertical direction means one and i will put semicolon over here again we'll check if is bottom is true then we can display one toast and that will be reached bottom okay so that's it for the main activity and now we'll jump to post adapter class and we'll start to retrieve all this stuff okay so post pick we need to use glide library to load this so we'll create one view over here m view and m view equals to this item view so we'll create some methods so public void set post pick and here we'll we'll have the url of that image url post i can write and first of all we need to find id of our post pick so post pick equals to this m view dot find view by id r dot id dot post image it was uh, let me see it in the each post layout yeah this was a uh, user post so this is user post user post and now we will use glide library to set the image so glide dot width and here we will pass the context then dot load this url post dot into our target is the post in pick post pick and i will put same column over here so this is for the post pick and then comments pick and like pick will work on this later and we can retrieve this profile pick as well so public void set profile pick and again there will be url so url profile and similarly we'll find its id so profile pick equals to mview dot find view by id i dot dot id dot i will check in our layout so this is profile pick and then we'll use glide dot width and we'll pass context dot load url profile dot into our target is profile pick and i will put semicolon over here 
and we can again retrieve this username so public void set post username string username will find its id first so post username equals to mview dot find your id r dot id dot username tv username text view and then we'll just set this uh, username to username tv so post username dot set text username and put semicolon then we can retrieve this date as well so public void set post date string date or maybe i can write here int date and we'll find its id so post date equals to mview dot find your id r dot id dot date tv and we'll just set it so post date dot set text and this will be date and again we can retrieve the caption so public void set post caption string caption and post caption equals to m view dot find view by id i dot id dot caption tv or caption text i think caption tv let me just check it so caption tv and then we'll set this so post caption dot set text and we'll pass caption over here okay and this post likes will work on this later so here we'll write post equals to post m list dot get and we'll pass this position over there and then we'll write holder dot set post pick and this will be post dot get image and then holder dot set caption and we'll pass the post dot get caption so now we need to retrieve the date so for that i will create one long variable and this will be post dot get time and again we'll use get time so this get time is coming from our model class that we have stored in file store and this get time will get the exact time from this from this value and after this what we can do so now we need to format our date so i will create one variable so string date equals to date format so make sure you input android dot text dot format and then dot format so here we'll pass our format so mm dd and yeah so y y y comma new date and here we'll pass our milliseconds and after this we'll write to string and i will put semicolon over there then we'll write holder dot set post date and we'll pass this date over there okay so this is in the string so we'll make this as a string variable and everything is fine okay so till now what we have retrieved uh, we have retrieved this post image caption and date as well so now we need to retrieve the profile pic and username so what we can do so i will create one variable here string and that will be user id so this will come from post dot get user and will require file store here so i will create one so private firebase file store 
and in on create view holder we'll just initialize it so fastor equals to firebase fastor dot get instance and just after this we'll write fastor dot collection and collection was users dot document and we'll pass this user id over there and we'll write get dot add on complete listener new on complete listener again we'll check if the task is successful or not else we'll display one toast that will be task dot get exception dot to string and i will put semicolon over here so now we'll retrieve the username so string username this will equals to task dot get result dot get string and field was field was name and again string uh, let me write image equals task dot get results and dot get string and field was i think image let me check it again in our setup profile activity setup activity so as you can see name and image was our field names okay now we can just set this value to our view so holder dot set profile pick and we'll pass this image and holder dot set post username and this will be username okay so so yeah we have done everything till now and on main activity yeah we have set the adapter as well so now it's time to run our app and we'll see it's working or not so i'll hit on the run button so it is installed so as so as you can see the profile pic username date and post and caption has been retrieved all the post has been, and you can see the toast as we reach the bottom reached bottom so i think we need to fix this post image size so let me just do that just close this and in each post what we can do we'll just increase its height to 260 dp and as you can see it is increased and we can just reduce this margin from top to 8 and we need to so we can just make this as a wrap content and this will fix all the things okay so now i will hit on the run button So now image, images are fixed so as you can see everything is working fine we have retrieved all the posts so in the next video we will work on this like feature and this comment feature as well so that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching